What's up guys, it's Jay, more than Kill, and I'm back here on Destiny with some more news and information. Today is Tuesday, another Tuesday has come, and another Tuesday will go, only for another Tuesday to be right around the corner, and with that future Tuesday, there will be an update to Destiny. But this week there are no patch notes, there is no hot fix to make mention of, but what we do have is word from Bungie about some of the things that they have been working on to improve your experience inside of Destiny. And what I wanted to do today is go down and give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what Bungie is working on and give you guys a little bit of my opinion. All mixed up with the facts. It's kind of kind of what I do around here. So <laughs> first off, they make mention that they are working on a voice communication system for in-game random matchmaking, and that's gonna make things so much better during game time when I'm doing like Tiger Strikes and there's nobody around to play with, and I got random assholes inside my game, and I look at a corner and there, there's always that one random asshole that, that sits in the back of the corner of the Tiger Strike, and he, he makes you do the entire strike so he can get the goddamn reward. We need a vote to kick option, please, Bungie. <laughs> Seriously, that one I would love to see, but I'm still very happy to see that they're working on some type of voice communication for in-game matchmaking, but I still want to see some type of proximity chat in the overworld, you know, since this does say matchmade teammates, so when you're out in the overworld, I would love to, you know, see some guy out there, and I could wave to him and be like, yo, what's going on, dude? Watch me dance on my sparrow. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they're also looking to add new legendary gear and buffs to exotic weaponry that make them stronger and actually worth having in your inventory. Cough, cough, thorn. Cough, cough, bad juju. Any of you guys out there that did those uh, bounties? I'm right there with you. <laughs> I did the goddamn thorn bounty. And I was like... Well, this gun is hardly worth it either. <laughs> so, I'm excited to see new gear coming to the game for sure. But, honestly, I I don't even think they need to add new gear in the game. It's a little bit, like, far-fetched just at this moment. I, I would be happy if they just cycled a goddamn fucking inventory into factions once in a while. They're still selling the same fucking inventory from launch. My hand cannon, the Ven Nation, is a, it's a dead orbit hand cannon. I got it randomly from a blue Engram back when the Crypt Arc was a troll arc. And 90% and of the people that are watching my gameplay, they come here like, What gun is that? I've never seen that before. That's a pretty badass hand cannon. And it's a shame because it really is a good hand cannon. And I'm not one of those people that are like, I got it. Don't want nobody else to have because it's so rare. No, I, 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 I would love to see. More people get use out of such a beast-ass hand cannon like the uh, Vent Nation. So, uh, how about how about you f cycle those fucking faction vendors <laughs> just a little bit, you know? I mean, I got lucky and got the entire new Monarchy gear set randomly from Engrams. I would have never known that there is a sniper rifle or a hand cannon from new Monarchy had I not got them. Um, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, if they just cycled the faction vendors, people would be like, Oh my god, look! New weapons! New gear! And you didn't have to do anything except push a couple buttons on your goddamn server. So I, I, I think it's a little little bit early to be adding in new gear, but I'm not gonna not gonna spit in the face of a gift horse. You guys wanna add new gear and buff some of the gear that's inside the game? Peace punch, Captain Crutch. Give me that shit, Captain. <laughs> and a, a few other things they've mentioned is there's going to be new shaders for your characters coming. Hopefully, they're going to give us more inventory space inside of our vault so we can actually fucking carry all the goddamn shaders that we have already. <laughs> fucking, I love, I love saving and collecting things. I, I feel like I want more vault space so I can actually do that. <laughs> But they're, they're actually adding ways to preview items before you buy them. Holy shit. Are, are you telling me that the shader that I'm, I'm actually looking at, I'll be able to tell what it looks like on my character before I buy it? No, no, no offense, Bungie. You know, I, I love you guys. And I love this game. Let's, let's get real. Come here. Lean in. Lean that shoulder in a little bit, Bungie. How the fuck did you have this system on? I got this out of fucking for place already. <laughs> so seriously, it seems like a no-brainer to be like, Hey guys, 
Look at this shader. Be like, well, what's it look like? Gotta buy it first, motherfucker. Why? <laughs> it's like, it's like going to the store and be like, man, that's a nice shirt. You're like, yeah, would you like to try it on? Yeah, I, I, I would. Twenty four ninety nine. What? Uh, if you'd like to turn it, put it on, it's twenty four ninety nine to buy the shirt. Well, how, how do I know? I like this. Look at it. Look at the shirt. <laughs> you, you should be able to know you want it. Just buy what it says on it. Fucked up. <laughs> so, they're also looking into making public events happen more often and adjusting the traffic flow of certain areas, which, if you read between the lines and you ever seen my mac and cheese series, there's a lot of other YouTubers that do put up videos showing you guys, like, glitch spots and cheese spots to, you know, get through some of these missions. I'm pretty sure when they say that they're going to fix and adjust the traffic flow of certain areas and arenas, they're probably going to be fixing some of the more amazing cheese spots in the game by adding in enemies that spawn in that area and path to that area. Which, I mean, honestly, is no big deal. But those of you guys out there that love your cheese spots, usually when a game fixes one problem, another one pops up. So it just means that we're going to have to cook up some new dishes of mac and cheese on some of the strikes that we've we've already done. So the, the rest of it just hit and tease at, you know, having a better Cryptarch decoded rate. So looking to make, you know, legendaries a little bit more common, which I think things right now are a little bit decent with the Cryptarch. But I wouldn't mind seeing the actual Engrams drop quite a bit more often. How about that? Or, or how about actually adding in support to where when, when you hit level 20, green Engrams stop dropping, blue Engrams drop as often as green, and then purple will drop just a tad bit more often than they do now, but not as often as a blue drops. Because if purples were dropping as often as blues drop, I think that's just a little bit, I think somewhere in between where the blues and purples are right now is where the legendaries should be because even though, I mean, you can decode legendaries in the shards and energy and shit like that, I, I, I still think that they should be a little bit more common, but not as common as blues are right now. Because I seem to get blues very often, but they never decode into anything actually worthwhile. So I get where they're trying to say, like, oh my god, we're gonna make it to where, like, you know, blues, I guess, uh, decode into legendaries more often. But I I'd rather just stop seeing greens drop on my goddamn screen. I mean, and then make blues drop, like, fucking greens after level 20, and, you know, make the purples just a little, 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 not much. Like, maybe, maybe three contairs. Not, not, there's not just a cut here, three. Alright, and I, I'm not talking about stacked on top of each other. No, I'm talking about lengthwise. Cut hairs shouldn't be very long, so. If, if, if you have long cut hairs, shave your bush. <laughs> or at least wax it. But they're also adding in new exotic shard cores that's gonna help you level up past level 30. And quote unquote, a few more tricks up our sleeves planned for a Dark Below DLC update, which, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm reading between the lines with developers speak, and that just means we got a bunch of shit that we want to do, but we're not really sure exactly how to do it, so, uh, that's just a few more tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> it's pretty much, like, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, I'm gonna say Bungie has some big master plan when it comes to tricks up their sleeve, no, it's basically Bungie saying, you know, hey, we had a good meeting last week, we kicked around a bunch of shit into a bucket, and uh, we're going to throw it at the wall, see what sticks, and whatever sticks on that wall, we, we might implement. That's pretty much how things go around at the board meeting. Like, somebody's, somebody's there is like, how about we added candles? The guy's like, no. <laughs> That's the end of that conversation. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Like, oh my god, guys, I got a legendary camel. <laughs> it fucking spits all over you. <laughs> Ah, shit. I had a better seat in my head for how that whole conversation with the boardroom was going to take place where they were passing ideas back and forth. But the first thing that came to my mind was, how about we have camels in the game? And I got so fucked up all track. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what Bungie is going to be, you know, doing with the game. They're going to be adding some things, fixing some things, and, uh, you know, 
all around just kind of expanded destiny from where it is right now. But I, I, I'm excited for the Dark Below DLC. I mean, I, I know a lot of people out there are giving this game a hard time right now because, I mean, God, it's void of content and ripped it from the game. And, uh, if you don't like it, don't play it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. So, my name is Jay. More than I have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys really comment and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. There are going to be no cabins. In Destiny. And if they do, if they added camels in Destiny, you know where they got that idea from. Right here, motherfucker. www.youtube.com slash user slash more than after kill. <laughs> now I'm gonna see you guys on the back of a camel! No. <laughs> now I'm gonna see you guys later.